Members of the Senate Budget Committee spent the day listening to more testimony on Governor Murphy's proposed budget for the next fiscal year. Several environmental groups lobbied for more clean energy investments and money for other programs that benefit the environment. There were also requests made for fully funding NJ Transit. From the business side of things, the New Jersey Business and Industry Association urged lawmakers to consider what it calls pro-growth investments. The NJBIA's Christopher Emmyholt says that includes ramping up workforce training. Everybody agrees that workforce development is important, but how to do it exactly as you asked the tough part. Uh, number one, I would say if we can focus more on our county colleges. Our county colleges are institutions spread throughout the state. I think there is a campus within 20, 30 minutes of every single New Jerseyan, and they do fantastic work preparing people for the economy. The NJBIA wants to make sure some federal relief funds go to the schools and is recommending that $3 million be allocated to a basic skills workforce training program that it says has trained tens of thousands of New Jerseyans. The state's unemployment rate rose at the start of the new year, according to new federal data released by the state Labor Department. January's jobless rate was 7.9%, up from 7.7% in December. Only 900 new jobs were added to the state's economy in January. State Attorney General Gerbeer Graywall is disappointed with the bankruptcy plan filed by opioid maker Purdue Pharma, saying it falls short of the accountability that families and survivors deserve. Purdue, the maker of OxyContin, is proposing a $10 billion plan to settle thousands of lawsuits and emerge from bankruptcy protection. The Sackler family, which owns the company, would contribute about $4 billion of their own money. New Jersey is among nearly two dozen other states saying that the bankruptcy plan is not good enough. Graywall says the plan should be amended to provide more money for the states. Now here's a check on the trading day on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by IBEW Local 102, proudly serving New Jersey's business community since 1900. Local 102, lighting the path, leading the way.